we're looking at the expansion of supermarket chains, both South African supermarket chains, as well as other supermarket chains from the region in uh, certain Southern African countries and what implications this has for local suppliers supplying products such as uh, processed foods, for example, or household consumable products into these supermarket chains. We're also looking at the competition dynamics between supermarket chains, particularly the foreign supermarkets versus local supermarkets, and the implications this has on suppliers. Supermarkets are a growing uh, market in terms of um, access to uh, for consumer products. So the growth of supermarkets allows local suppliers in the different countries to supply supermarkets, and this in turn assists a country in its industrialization objectives. In the last um, five to 10 years or so, the, there have been supermarket chains from the region that have expanded within their countries. And one example of that is Choppies, the supermarket chain Choppies, which is a Botswana-based supermarket, which is rapidly expanding into the region um, and not just Southern African region, also into the East African markets. So that provides a very interesting uh, entry episode for us to evaluate, to try and understand what the strategies of non-South African supermarkets are in the region and how they adapt to the different conditions in the different countries. So it no longer is just within urban areas, but supermarkets are uh, segmenting their target market and they are increasingly targeting lower LSM markets, which is now moving into the more rural areas. Therefore, the implications on consumers um, in terms of what's available in supermarket shelves as well as the pricing becomes of great significance. And this is where the competition angle comes in as well. So this is the second leg of the study, and it's, 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 it's very significant in the sense that in countries like Zambia and Zimbabwe and Botswana, for that fact, given the location of these countries or the, the distance from South Africa of these countries, a lot of the products on the shelves are South African imported products. And this has largely got to do with the capabilities of the local suppliers and that in those particular countries, often you find that they lack capabilities to produce the quality or produce the volumes at cost competitive prices to be put on supermarket shelves and the supermarkets then just import from South Africa. So understanding what the challenges are for local suppliers is going to be a big part of the study and identifying opportunities for local suppliers to supply not just within their country, but across countries in the region is also a major area of focus. There's been very little research in the Southern African region around competition dynamics in supermarket value chains. Um, basically, if the incumbent supermarkets, particularly the ones that come from South Africa, which are really the dominant players in the rest of the Southern African region, if they engage in conduct um, that, or anti-competitive conduct, that in, in a sense where they abuse their market power, this has direct consequences on consumer welfare. So the strategies that incumbent supermarkets can engage in have a direct impact on new entrants in the region as well. So that's, that's an area of focus in the study. Mm -hmm.